What's up, Greyhound Nation? We're crazy excited to come to you again today. We have another announcee of another forward that we want to, to get out to Greyhound Nation, and his name is Yosnir Kobas. Uh, Yos, for short, uh, he comes all the way from Miami, did his junior college years out in uh, California, so that's kind of a cross-country trip for him. So we're sticking right in the middle to New Mexico, and, and Yos is going to be a Greyhound coming with us. Uh, you know, what we're most excited about, you know, in the recruiting process of this young man was just how mature he was from day one. Uh, he carries himself different. His mentality is different. Um, you know, again, he kind of comes from an older generation as far as his work ethic and his belief in outworking people. You know, we're coaching in a generation right now where skill and talent and the flashy Instagram things kind of dominates. And Yos is cut from a different cloth. Yost wants to do the dirty work. He wants to do the hard work. He wants to be physical. He wants to put in the time and the reps that it takes to be fundamentally sound. And, uh, you know, we just feel like that fits our DNA. We believe that in the Lone Star Conference, if you can base your program around those things, you're going to have success. And we feel like Yost is a player that can take us to this next level of success. Um, he was a double-double guy out in California, um, you know, and just a, a, a real offensive force in his own right. Um, I'll let Coach speak to his defensive abilities, which are, again, you know, prolific and special. Um, and as we lose Chu Amili, a big athletic forward that blocks shots, having Yos uh, and those abilities that he brings to the table is going to be really, really special for our program. Uh, you know, uh, unbelievable family. Uh, you know, uh, dad is a really hard worker and kind of set the tone for Yos' work ethic. And then his mom and his sisters, you know, they just kind of surround him and, and they brought him up in, in how to be a good man. We feel like he's going to be a leadership piece for us uh, in our forward crew and in our team in general. And when you're able to bring guys in like that, you know, you, you don't worry about only having them for two years at that point. You know, they bring what you need right away from the jump. And, and at the end of the two years, we're going to wish we had them longer. You know what I mean? So, um, but just couldn't be more excited about Yos and what he brings to us. I'll let Coach speak to his defensive ability and more of his scoring ability. But, you know, Greyhound Nation, you're going to love this guy. I can tell you that. Yeah, man, y Yost is a guy that, I mean, Defensive Player of the Year, um, two years in a row, uh, all-conference first team, two years in a row. He led, he led the conference with 56 blocks. I mean, his timing uh, is, is just impeccable, man, what, what this young man can do. Um, playing the four for us, he'll be able to score in a multitude of ways, yep. all three levels, definitely can score on the block, uses both hands um, very effectively, yep. very efficiently. Um, and we're just excited about this young man. Like I said, in the short corner, you know, it's, it's just a no-brainer, man. We could throw lobs to him. We could throw dump downs to him. Um, and he's just a bucket. He is just a bucket. Um, so we're, we're, we're super excited about Yost. And he thinks of himself as a dog. Yes, yes. He thinks of himself as a dog, man. And, and that's something to be valued. Um, you know, so we're, we're super excited about Yost. You know, Yost has expressed to me... Um, you know, getting overlooked and, and things like that. So he brings all those aspects into his game, man, and you can really see this is a special young man. Yeah, and I think that you know, even talking to his mom, to his high school coach, uh, Coach Fernandez back, you know, in Florida, you know, they both spoke to that. that. Like, you know, it was almost like people didn't realize fast enough what he really had. Coach Hoyt realized it, got him out to California. He played for Columbia, did great things for them. But, you know, there's still a little bit of in Yosef's heart, I feel like, that, that he needs to prove what he really is. Now, we know what he really is, and that's why, and that's why he's now a Greyhound. But, you know, but what, the beautiful part of that in our program is that that's kind of our story, too. Man. We're still trying to prove, you know, how special this place is, how incredible this community is that we live in. The people that we represent here at Eastern New Mexico, we're trying to prove and put this place on a map in a different way. And so Yost just kind of, he just plugs into that DNA and he brings that with him. And we feel like that's going to be a value system that's going to be a big heartbeat for us next year. Um, so, you know, a lot of people to thank on this one. Obviously, his entire family, you know, helped with the recruitment process. Mom, you know, is a big leader in that household and she just did a great job of allowing us to get to know her son and, and, and she trusts us in a way that we feel like is special. Obviously, we thank his dad for all his hard work and all the stuff that he's done because, again, we feel like a lot of that's been instilled in his young man and it is yours. And so, um, Coach Hoyt back at Columbia, we thank you for all you've done. Coach Fernandez back at, you know, in Florida, we thank you for all your help. We know that he still leans on you in so many ways for guidance and leadership. And so, uh, you know, this forward crew, Special. It's tough. Special. It's a tough group of guys, man. We have some skill and some shooting ability, you know, in Austin Kingman. You have, 
you know, Dane Kawani coming back this year, breaking onto the scene in the Lone Star as a multi-talented, multi-faceted big man, 6'8", long wingspan. Uh, you know, you have Marvin Mapega coming all the way from Africa by way of Arizona Western, who is an absolute force and just... I mean, he is a beast. He's a, he's a man. He's a grown man. And then you, you add in Yosnir Kobas, who, again, is equally as much of a beast and a man, but who brings a multitude of skills at different positions. And so we feel like having these kind of forwards in the Lone Star Conference is really what you need to win championships. And all these young men, especially Yos, you know, when he put his name down on the paper, that's one of the things he said. He said, Coach, I'm ready to be a part of this family and ready to win championships there with you guys. So we're crazy blessed to have Yos as a part of our family. Uh, we really do look at him as a leader already, uh, and we feel like he's a guy that's going to come in right away to our family and make a big splash. The Lone Star Conference is only getting better. We bring in the Heartland Conference now to be the biggest, most powerful conference in Division II basketball, and we know that guys like Marvin and Austin and Dane and Yos, like those are the guys that need to be present if we're going to get these rebounds and set these screens and, and score you know, in one-on-one -on -one moments, to, in big moments and games to win. Uh, and so we couldn't be more excited, Greyhound Nation, about what we're going to be bringing in next year as far as uh, the big guys in the front court. So we check all the boxes, yeah. both on and off the floor. We got mature guys. We got hungry guys, hardworking guys that's willing to do the dirty work. And I just, I'm, I'm so excited, man. I, I can't wait to get started. I'm, I'm ready to have a fun summer, <laughs> but, but I'm ready for the season to be here Absolutely. already, you know. So, uh, so you know, Yost and your entire network, we just want to say thank you for what you are and what you've become. Your ceiling is really high, and we can't wait for you to chase that ceiling uh, and become a professional at some point. You know, we feel like all these forwards we have have a chance to play professional basketball one day in Europe, and we look for these guys to do just that. Uh, and so, you know, Yost and your family, we say thank you. Greyhound Nation, you're getting yet another really high caliber young man uh, who's going to impact this community. The little kids in this community that get to look up to Yost are, are in for a treat, man. I think he's going to make an impact on their life and help the people here in Port, Port Talos and, and for Greyhound Nation. So thank you so much for everyone that made this possible. We appreciate you. Thank you. Let's go Greyhounds.